Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another makeup tutorial. So today um, I received a package in the mail from Colourpop. I decided to play around with some eyeshadows and one thing led to another. So I did kind of like a double wing liner where I have the pink and then the black on top of the pink. This one came a little bit more ratchet than this one but it's all good. I really hope you guys enjoy this makeup look and if you guys are interested in seeing how to create this makeup look, then just keep on watching. You know what to do. Stay tuned. Okay, so I'm first starting with the Joanna Vargas Daily Serum. This stuff is a bomb. It keeps my skin so hydrated, so moisturized, and it doesn't leave me any oily residue, which I appreciate because your girl is oily. I'm taking the ColourPop Cream Gel Eyeliner in Black Brown. This is my favorite brow gel. I've tried the Anastasia Dip Pomade, and I've tried the NYX Dip Pomade as well, and this definitely just takes a cake for both of them it's very creamy a little goes such a long way um you do have to be careful with these because they do dry out rather quickly but other than that it's amazing i also went in with the color pop um eye pencil or not the eye pencil the brow pencil in the same color black brown and i just filled in the rest of my eyebrows this as well is very creamy so a little goes a long way and then to clean up my brows, I'm using this Tonia Crook, the Brow Gal Brow Pencil. It's the one that I received in my box that I recently unboxed with Shayla and Angel Marino. And I really like it. I started using it and it just cleans up your brows really nicely and the process is just so much easier. And then after that, I do like to set my brows. This is also the Brow Gal by Tonia Crooks and this is definitely hands down my favorite gel um eyebrow setting thing you know what i mean on fleek no on fleek so i'm taking the becca ever matte poreless primer and i'm applying that baby all over my skin i really like this primer i don't feel like it makes me you know like super matte but i hate the consistency of it you have to apply very little otherwise it kind of like crumbles up on you and then i take the professional and i just apply it onto the huge ass pores that i have on my skin um i can't commit myself to buy the big one because it's just so expensive and i don't feel like it's all that you know what i mean so after that i did take the elf primer and i just primed my lid went in with this quad by color pop this is that zingara super shock shadow for some palette i'm going to take the first color and it's more of a terracotta color and i'm going to start applying that to the inner corners of my eye because i am going for a halo smoky look and then as always i do apply the color to the outer corners of my eyes and as you will see here i start blending that inner corner first into the center of the eye just so blending can be a little bit easier towards the end but i'm going to take this color it's more on the burgundy side but it has brown undertones as well and i'm applying that with a shader brush and i'm applying that to the outer corners again just bringing in the colors making sure that everything is nice and blended and then i'm taking that to the inner corners as well do you guys see this cut i cut myself like a mensa anyway so i'm taking a fluffy brush and i'm just going in and blending everything together um, I did feel like that color was a little bit harder to blend like once you set it onto the eyes but it's all about patience. Now I'm going to take this MAC um, paint pod and I'm applying that to the center of the lid because I do want to make sure that the pigment is pretty out there and it's pigmented obviously and I'm going to take this shimmery it's like a champagne gold color and I'm applying that to the center of the lids I prefer to use a synthetic brush because I feel like that applies the best so I'm applying that and packing it on at the same time I'm going to go in with the fourth color from that super shock shadow palette quad and I'm applying that as well to the outer and inner corner just to blend everything and I do make sure that the colors are not harsh that so you can't see a line between the center and the sides if that makes sense i'm going in with this simple cleansing wipes and i'm just cleaning up the eyeshadow for foundation i wanted to miss the milani miss mix the milani and the l'oreal so that's what i did i 
for concealer, I'm going to take my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in NC20, I believe. I know that it's a little light, but I promise it'll look good in the end. I'm taking that in a beauty blender and just blending everything in. I prefer to use the beauty blender with my concealer just because I feel like it picks up excess products. If I applied too much, then it'll just pretty much absorb it and I won't have so much. To bake, I'm using the NYC Translucent Powder, and I love this. I think it's very, very, very similar to the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. So I'm just applying that, baking underneath the eyes to make sure that everything is set. Also to the sides of my nose, just to snatch it. I'm taking the Anastasia Contour Palette, and I'm taking that first color. This is going to work both as a bronzer and as a contour color, and you know, your girl's got it contour that double chin so i'm going to take that and i'm going to make sure that everything is nice and blended taking that also to the forehead just to even everything out After that, I decided to use the same liquid lipstick that I was going to use on my lips as an eyeliner. Again, I was just going with the flow, just kind of doing my thing. And I have used te this technique before and I really like it. So I'm applying that as a wing liner and then I'm going to go in with the NYC Black Eyeliner and I'm just going to kind of overdraw it or line it just so it can pop a little bit more. I don't know. <sighs> You know, if it's not your cup of tea, that's okay because that's what makeup is all about. To try out new things. If you like it, cool. And if you don't, you know, life goes on. I did apply some lashes. These are my favorite lashes at the moment. Now I'm going to go in with my highlight. This is the Laura Geller Gilded Honey Highlight. So awesome. Like the pigmentation. Do you see that? It is brighter than my future girl. So I'm applying that to the highest points of my cheekbones. I also take that to my cupid's bow, the center of my chin, and then just on the top of my brows. I'm using that same lipstick that I use for my eyes. This is ColourPop's Time Square Liquid Lipstick. And pretty much you are done after that. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. And I'll see you chicas in my next video. Bye.